Today we're going to be looking at our vest by Hillrom. A really great device um, for vibration, um, arbitrary percussion, chest physiotherapy. Uh, used uh, very commonly in patients with cystic fibrosis. Um, and again, it makes uh, the job of chest physiotherapy a lot more effective. Um, this can be done at home. Patients do this at home as well. Uh, so we'll, we'll take a look at the overview on how this uh, therapy looks, uh, and then we'll dive in and do some close-ups on the controls and on the setup. Now, just to note, the vest patients with cystic fibrosis will usually use the non-disposable vest. Um, it goes around the shoulders, the two connections are here, and uh, this is actually non-disposable. So you don't see this used too often in the hospital. Uh, cystic, fibrosis, uh, cystic fibrosis patients will bring their own vests in with them. Um, but for the hospital use, we do have disposable vests, and that's what we have here on our SimMan. There's, there's various sizes from small, medium to large and extra large. And the, the goal here is to wrap the, the disposable vest around the patient's thorax, around their chest, um, and uh, connect the, the simple connections up, run the physiotherapy for generally 10 minutes or whatever the, whatever the physician has ordered. There's some other uh, controls as well. The frequency, how fast the vest will, uh, will vibrate. Uh, the intensity of that and there's also a timer so that you can start therapy run that for the prescribed amount of time and then obviously encourage the patient to cough after the therapy is uh, is completed um, in this case we're using a large uh, disposable vest uh, again these are easier to place on patients that are in the bed so if your patient's uh, fairly ill um, you can wrap this uh, wrap around their thorax pretty easily it has velcro and you just fit it tight. We, I like to suggest getting it uh, as close to the uh, armpits as possible so you've got a lot of the thorax there uh, covered and then just initiate the therapy and, uh, and, the th and the machine will do the work for you. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and institute uh, the, the, the machine at, right now at 12 hertz. Um, so that would be 12 times 60. That would give your total vibration. We've got about, uh, we've got an intensity of six here, and that's adjustable as well. And of course, the therapy time is set at 10 minutes, and at 10 minutes, the, the machine will shut down. So let me show you what that looks like. So right now, the machine is ramping up. It's pressurizing the disposable vest. And once that's done, it'll continue to vibrate in this manner providing the vibratory chest physiotherapy to the patient at the, uh, 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 the prescribed uh, time line. Usually 10 minutes is, is about appropriate. So again, there uh, is the vest operating. And what we'll do next is we'll do a closer dive on how the connections are made and what the screen uh, looks like and how that can be adjusted. All right, everybody. So there is the vest running. Like I mentioned, at 12 hertz, a uh, intensity of six, and the time is about nine minutes remaining. You can also note that it says press off to pause the therapy. So we can pause if the patient needs to talk to the doctor or whatever, and then resume the therapy. Now let's also take a look at the simple connections. There, these uh, these tubes, uh, There's uh, they're both the same at both ends. They're just simple. Uh, tubes that slip into these connectors here and on the vest side there's a silicone uh, adapter that the uh, the each each tube inserts into and the silicone is tight so that it holds those connectors in place without any difficulty at all now again this is a velcro type of a vest it slips on the chest quite easily and then you just velcro uh, that uh, together i like to keep the ports close to the front of the patient so that you can get to those once the vest is placed. And then again, let the therapy run for the prescribed amount of time uh, that the physician has ordered. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the machine, the controls a little bit more. We'll go ahead and push stop to um, pause that. And as you can see, uh, we can resume the therapy if necessary. Um, very, very nice. We can increase the, the frequency here by pushing the up and down arrow this way get a little bit more uh you know higher vibration effect 
we can increase the intensity here and again the time can be changed as well so pretty flexible and again you want to dial in what the physician's ordered if the physician is allowing you to make the settings i would always ask the patient if they've used this at home before what kinds of settings they've used at home uh, to keep their home regime going if this is new to them then you can begin to uh, do some customization set the uh, intensity a little lower and bring that up you want to make sure that you're actually seeing the chest vibrate and then the frequency can be uh, set to uh, obviously give them a very good, intense, uh, fast vibratory of chest physiotherapy. I like to run that, that uh, frequency about 15. That is a pretty good setting. So let's go ahead and restart that by pushing the on button here. And again, it will ramp up, adding pressure to the vest and begin to vibrate. And you really wanna pay attention and assess your patient throughout the therapy make sure they're tolerating this well. Uh, again, the idea is to move secretions so after the therapy is done and the equipment is removed, you really want the patient to cough. And I would even encourage them to cough during the therapy. And again, here we'll go ahead and slow down the frequency a little bit and see what that looks like. And you can hear that. And then you can see that visually on the patient there, how a uh, 10 Hertz uh, is looking and vibrating the patient's chest. So very effective and again, a mainstay in cystic fibrosis patients. Um, again, use the disposable uh, uh, vest there. You can label that with the patient's name so that it doesn't get misplaced uh, and utilize that throughout the hospital stay. You don't have to change those unless they become soiled um, you know, something like that. Otherwise, you can use that throughout. They are disposable. And again, there's a um, example of what the non-disposable vest looks like. You probably see these a lot in pictures. They actually have some connectors which the tubes fit into, and uh, they're a little bit more comfortable. And because they have the shoulder straps, the uh, position of the vest will stay a little more consistent. Patients with CF will actually stand while the vest is running, so that. Uh, permanent non-disposable vest is a little bit better for patients that might, might be moving around uh, versus this vest, the disposable vest, which is primarily for patients that are laying in bed. Now, again, I would encourage you to put the patients at a high Fowler's position um, and insert the vest around through their back and bring that around and do the Velcro connection and, uh, and you can go from there. So I'm gonna stop um, the vest right now and we'll take a look at these connections. Again, they're very simple. They just insert into the silicone um, slits here that allow for that. And it doesn't really matter which tube goes where, as long as you have both tubes connected uh, to the vest, the vest will function. And then you initiate therapy uh, that way. And it's a great way to give the therapy without tiring the respiratory therapist. In the old days, we did these um, by hand, either with uh, uh, percussion with our cupped hands and vibration with a either pneumatic air powered pneumatic vibrator or an electric power type of uh, vibrator for CPT. Uh, the vest makes it more efficient and uh, actually much, much easier for the therapist so that we don't have to be doing that uh, modality. We can be assessing the patient and making sure they're safe during the, uh, during the therapy.